Around the world, healing hands wear rubber gloves to stop the spread of germs and save lives. To make them, they need a lot of hands, the kind made from ceramic or aluminum. They'll serve as molds. They need to remove residue from the last rubber glove production, so they do a thorough washing in soapy water and then in bleach. They must remove every speck of residue because even the smallest contaminant could lodge in the latex rubber gloves and create holes. The ceramic hands twirl into round revolving brushes. Their bristles scour the surface and the hard to reach areas between the ceramic fingers. After this thorough scrubbing, the hand molds dive into a tub of hot water. As they exit the tub, the hands swivel on the rail carrier to drip dry. The hand molds head into a chemical bath, which forms a film on the surface. It's a critical coating because liquid rubber won't adhere to bare ceramic, but it will to this substance. The ceramic molds now reach into warm liquid rubber, which has been enhanced for extra strength. Coated with the rubber gel, the hands spin to shake off any drops as they head into an oven. Under intense heat, the rubber dries to the hand form. After a wash and dry, the gloves spin through brushes, which roll up the cuffs. This cuff roll, called the bead, has a specific purpose. It makes it easier to pull the rubber glove off the mold. Workers grab the gloves by the beads to peel them off the ceramic forms. These particular medical gloves were molded from synthetic rubber for people who can't wear natural latex rubber due to allergies. These synthetic rubber gloves are a bit stickier than the natural latex ones, and they must be removed by hand. However, the natural latex gloves come off much more easily. Bursts of pressurized air blow these gloves off the ceramic forms. At a test station, a worker now stretches and inflates each medical glove to check for weak spots and holes. They take a sample glove from every batch and pump water into it, again checking for leaks. If the sample glove is watertight, they approve the entire batch for shipment. They pack them up in batches of 100. A cornstarch solution applied earlier keeps them from sticking together in the box. Later, that starch will also act as a lubricant to allow the gloves to slide easily onto hands.